welcome. I'm Fred Holland, principal at Chillicothe High School, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 139th annual commencement services of Chillicothe High School. This is the second year in a row that we've been forced to move this ceremony inside. However, the weather or the humid conditions certainly can't dampen our celebration or the warm regards which we have for this fine class. Let me begin by introducing some people to you. Joining me tonight on the stage, and I'd like these people to stand as I introduce them, is Mr. Roger Smith, principal of Pickaway Ross Joint Vocational School. <laughs> Mrs. Rachel Foster, assistant principal. <laughs> Mrs. Elizabeth Montgomery, assistant principal. <laughs> Mr. Robert Merrill, president, board of education. Dr. Michael Klein, Superintendent of Schools. Also present with us tonight, Mrs. Betsy Nussbaum, Board of Education member. Reverend Troy Gray, Board of Education member. Board members George Clayton and Ron Bettin were unable to attend they both asked me to send their best wishes to you graduates. Also in attendance, Ms. Joyce Atwood, Assistant Superintendent. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence Butler, Director of Personnel. <laughs> Mr. Bob Ryan, Director of Pupil Services. <laughs> Mr. Stacy Overly, Treasurer. and Mr. Charles Wallace, the Tennis Director and Activity Director. And last but certainly not least, with a very special introduction, Mrs. Lorreen Washington, who's our Guidance Department Coordinator. She's also our Senior Counselor and very popular, obviously. I wish to also recognize the entire staff of Chillicothe City Schools. I see graduation as a district-wide culminating activity since it takes a consistent effort from kindergarten through 12th grade. I particularly wish to recognize the following staff members for their assistance to this class. Senior Class Advisor Sharon Patrick, if she would please stand. Right back here, thank you. And secretaries Karen Streitenberger, Nidra Downs, Davida Thacker, and Vicki Kennard, if they would please stand. I know I joined the class in 1997, and thanks for these people. I further wish to recognize a very significant group of people who have stood by these graduates through good times and not, and that is their parents and loved ones. I congratulate each one of you. Your pride tonight is immense and very well deserved. And final recognition goes to you graduates. I've enjoyed sharing my three years together with you. You've had tremendous high points and a few difficult ones. Our thoughts tonight certainly go out to deceased class member Timothy Richmond and his family. I also want to, want to compliment you on your accomplishments. At this point, the total amount of scholarships and grants earned by these students in front of us right here tonight totals $1,000,000. $552,000. Tremendous accomplishment. <laughs> Beyond this, however, to me personally, you are a group of genuinely nice people. I send you on with this advice. Work hard, be smart, and always do the right thing. This will bring you happiness. The CHS Symphonic Choir under the direction of Mrs. Jennifer Shively will now perform this selection. This is the moment.
place is packed. Look at this. No place to sit. Our first student speaker is William Lutmer. William is valedictorian of this year's class. William was a member of our outstanding quiz bowl team. He was chosen as the outstanding lawyer while competing with our mock trial team. He served as president of the National Honor Society and senior class vice president. He also earned notoriety as a national merit finalist. He will be attending Ohio State University in the fall where he plans to a double major in physics and computer science. The title of his address is Our American Dream. As he comes forward, I will be recognizing William as the valedictorian by presenting him with the valedictorian medal. Recently, I read an article in which Colin Powell assessed this nation's greatest threat in the next century to be young people who are disengaged from American life, 
who don't believe in the American dream. It is scary to think that this nation's greatest threat may be internal pessimism, that it won't be some foreign nation or problem with the government, but a lack of faith among American citizens. Before America even became America, this land represented that dream. The pilgrims and the other settlers of the New World saw freedom and opportunity awaiting across the ocean. Just last weekend, we remembered the millions of American men and women who have died to ensure that this country and all of its ideals would endure. The value of the American dream can be seen in the struggle of those who have been denied it. The leaders of the women's rights and civil rights movements have been fighting long and hard for many years to ensure that every American had an equal opportunity at living out their American dream. It seems that this dream has never been more accessible than it is now. The American dream is not a specific thing, but rather it is a guarantee to each one of us that we have the opportunity to go out and choose any future we desire. This opportunity is perhaps the greatest gift any nation can give its citizens. As we graduate today, we face a country and a world quite different from what our parents and grandparents faced. While the dream is still largely unchanged, the path we will follow in attaining our goals will be quite different. In the past, ambition, dedication, and hard work allowed Americans to achieve their dreams. These three characteristics are the constant for success. While this country and this world may change, we can rely on these three things as we search for our goals. It is much better to look at today as a beginning rather than an end. Over the last 12 years, our parents and the government have done their best to give us the tools that we will need to build our goals. However, from here, it is much more our own responsibility to attain what we desire. Tonight, each one of us will receive our high school diploma, the foundation upon which we will build the rest of our lives. As each one of us leaves here tonight, it is time for us to picture our own goals, to draft our own designs, and to begin building. Allison Frank is our next speaker. Allison is the class salutatorian. She was active in our music department where she was a four-year member of the symphonic choir. You've already heard of her talents tonight. She also excelled in athletics where she ran track all four years and was cross-country captain this year. She also participated in the National Honor Society, the Latin Club, and was president of the AFS. She will attend DePaul University and study pre-medicine. The title of her talk is The Journey. I also will be presenting her with the Salutatorian Medal, Allison Frank. We have spent most of our short lives dreaming, preparing, and thinking about what would happen when we were finally finished with high school. We imagined where we would go, what we would do, who we would know, and who we would become. It was like we were on a path, journeying toward an unknown end, graduating from high school and experiencing a new freedom. We watched the path grow shorter as the years galloped by and the end came in sight but was not yet clear. As we strided toward the end, we discovered many new and exciting paths, all branching from the single path we are now finding ourselves at the end. These many choices may frighten us and challenge us, and we know that any choice we make can present us with hardships and obstacles, but also with the victories of success. So far, guiding, guiding us along the way have been the maps of our parents, teachers, and friends. But now, as we see the many paths and opportunities before us, we realize that it is time to travel on and complete our journey in life. It is time to navigate our own paths. This is our moment to shine, to remember, to believe, to succeed, to live our dreams. Looking back at my youngest sister, who is only in second grade, I realize that we've come a long way, from simple addition to Mr. Powell's advanced placement calculus, calculus class. 
from just learning how to read to our senior English and literature classes. Our journey is not yet complete, though. It is time, as the words from a song in Disney's The Land Before Time proclaim, don't lose your way with each passing day. You've come so far, don't throw it away. Let be leaving, dreams are for weaving, wonders are waiting to start. Live your story, faith, hope, and glory. Hold to the truth in your heart. We cannot stray and become lost now. We must believe in ourselves. We must follow our hearts. We must seek out our individual paths, not parting from the old one, but stretching it out for the rest of our lives. As we leave here today, may we take our goals and our dreams with us, and may we believe in ourselves. For now is the time, not for the journey's end, but for its new beginning. Our final student speaker is Rebecca Brewer. She was an outstanding contributor to our music and drama departments. She participated all four years with the marching band, the concert band, and the orchestra. She was active in dramatics on both sides of the curtain and was the student director of this year's children, children's play. She currently is working backstage with the OUC drama department and will be summer camp co-director for the Metropolitan Housing Camp. She will be attending Ohio University in Athens this fall and double majoring in forensic chemistry and psychology. The title of her speech is Seize the Day. Rebecca Brewer. Well, what is life preparing for us now? What do we make of the years to come and of the memories we have from the past? Well, it's whatever we want. Or more specifically, whatever you the individual wants. We will still always be the class of 1997, and our hometown will always be Chillicothe, and our home high school will always be CHS. But now, after today, we go our separate ways. We have different plans and separate lives. So what are you going to make of yours? These past 12 years, we've always known the ultimate goal, and that is to get here, right where we're sitting, right where we're wearing these robes. We're, but we're moving on. We've got bigger goals, higher dreams, and more things to do than we could ever imagine. And a lot of us are probably in a much different position than we thought we'd be only two, three, or four years ago. But now it's time to put away fears of failure. We've always been afraid not to make the grade, not to pass the course, not to let our teachers, our parents, or ourselves down. But we have to put away that fear. There's a, a quote that I like to keep in my head. Some goals are so worthy, it's glorious even to succeed. You can take that however you want, meaning that you don't have to try to change the world. You don't have to try to influence the whole entire nation, country, or even your place of work. You can just try to concentrate on your life. And if the goal is important to you, then it's important to pursue with your entire heart, body, mind, and soul. It's important enough to go at it such as you would never go after anything else. And at the end of the road, when you look back and you say, sure, I may not have succeeded in reaching my goal, but I had one heck of a time trying. There are two sides to life, the left side and the right side. The left side is our responsibility, our maturity, our priorities, everything that we must face in the future, things that we've never had to, had to face until now. The right side is our childhood, our innocence, the careless, the careless passions and the laughters that we've had. As we grew up, our focus went from the right side to the left. And now today, more and more of us look towards the left with higher and higher yeah. dignity. Yeah. Our tassels that we're wearing are on the right side. But in just a few moments, we will change them to the left. And just as they hang on the right now, signifying that we still have much of that innocence, much of that laughter, and much of those carefree passions, soon we will move them to the left and we will say, 
World, I accept your challenge to be mature, to be responsible, to meet my priorities, and to give my goals. So what will you do with your life? How many goals will you pursue? How many will you fail at? How many will you succeed at? But don't forget, don't forget the right side of life. Don't forget your laughter. Don't forget your carefree passions. Try to make each day lived, looking straight down the middle. Robin Williams has one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite movies, Seize the Day. Make your lives extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you, students. And now our superintendent of schools, Dr. Michael Klein. If you fear less, but hope more, if you complain less, but dream more, if you talk less, but speak more, if you hate less and love more, then all that is good will come to you. To the class of 1997, I congratulate you for all your work and effort, for you have gained the honor and distinction of becoming a graduate of Chillicothe High School. Your parents and the faculty have encouraged you to get to this point not only to gain the life of better employment, but to gain a good life. My admonition in the beginning came from a church bulletin that I read recently, and they are very simple words, but there's a great deal of truth. As there is in a verse from 1 Corinthians, it goes like this. When I was a child, I thought like a child, I talked like a child. I remembered like a child. But when I became an adult, I put my childish ways behind me. Today, we celebrate and we welcome you to adulthood. May God bless you and may good things come your way. Thank you. And now our Board of Education President, Mr. Robert Merrill. Thank you, Mr. Holland. Class of 1997, on behalf of the Board of Education, I bring you congratulations on your achievements and best wishes for the future. Also, we want to thank you and your parents, guardians, and friends for being responsible for you having reached this important milestone in your life. The world will little note nor long remember what I say here, but you can control your life after what is done here. I was glad that dreams were mentioned because that's the subject of my speech. Just for a short time, let's talk about dreams. Dreams are important, and everyone should dream. Don't bother to dream of the past. It is already reality. The past is gone. The future, your future, will always be ahead of you. Cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of your soul and the blueprint of your ultimate achievements. I'm going to say that again. Cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of your soul and the blueprint of your ultimate achievements. At the funeral of Bobby Kennedy, and I'm sure all of you have heard of Bobby Kennedy, his brother, Senator Ted Kennedy, said, most people dream dreams of things as they are and say why. My brother dreamed dreams of things that never were 
and said, why not? That's a challenge for you, too. Why not? We sincerely hope that you will not only dare to dream, but that you will do something about your dreams. Tonight, before you go to bed, look in the mirror and tell yourself you are ready for the future. And last but not least, remember, your parents have given you the gift of life. What you do with that life is the gift that you return to them. Once again, congratulations and best wishes for a wonderful future. May you be blessed with a long, happy, healthy, loving, and productive life. Mr. Holland, have these seniors passed all the qualifications for graduation? As principal of Chillicothe High School, I certify that these ladies and gentlemen have met all requirements for graduation as set forth by the Chillicothe Board of Education and the State of Ohio. I present this class to you, Mr. Merrill, and recommend that they be granted their diplomas, diplomas signifying graduations from Chillicothe High School as the class of 1997. Presenting the diplomas in a new procedure recommended by this year's seniors will be four staff members. These were chosen by the class. They are Mr. Marty Dunn, science teacher. They're seated over here. If you please stand. <laughs> Mr. Tony Woods, science teacher. <laughs> Mr. Napoleon Cross, occupational work experience teacher. And Mr. Joe Helsel, Jobs for Ohio graduate teacher. Also along the lines of new procedures, I further want to rec recognize the families of each graduate by asking them to stand as their graduates' names are called. I ask the crowd to remain quiet during the awarding of the diplomas so that every name can be heard clearly. Seniors? David Lutner. Allison Kristen Frank. Paul Allison. Sarah Elizabeth Anderson. Mandy Barsakowski. Kristen Michelle Beard. Donald Allen Colburn. Jeffrey Allen Downing. Sage Jameson Flanagan. Nicholas Franklin Garris. Elizabeth Ann Gerber. Amy Marie Goble. Matthew Grant. Abby Michelle Griffith. Sarah Marie Hanchen. Alexander Ho. 
Shayla Yasmeen Kramer. Matthew Elliott Kaiser. Cami Lane Lullamadeer. Allison Thompson Morgan. Russell Deaton Shoemaker. Stephen Douglas Scott. Curtis E. Smith. John Walter Snyder. Carrie Ann Steens. Brian Michael Thompson. Natalie Ruth Abbott. Stephen Allen Blythe. Jeffrey James Boyce. Rebecca Diane Brewer. Brooke Allen Brown. Joshua Ty Brown. Brooklyn Joy Bunch. Tiffany Charlene Christopher. Murphy Allen Conley. Katrina Lynn Corbett. Anne Elizabeth Eady. Robin Ann Hartley. <laughs> Kelly Don Havel. <laughs> Julie Ann Henricks. <laughs> Megan Kate Highland. <laughs> Ryan A. Hoffner. <laughs> Michael Lee Holly. Jennifer Michelle Howell. Brian Wesley Jones. Christopher Michael Jones. Brett Allen Knapp. Andrea Lynn Lusher. Sarah Ann Moody. Christine Renee Palatier. Timothy Ramey. Amanda Christina Sanders. Janelle Lee Sr. Eric Michael Smith. Tanya Vest. Sarah Jane Whitley. John Woods. Arthur George Adams III. Vanessa Lavon Agnew. Joey Andrew Alexander. Kevin D. Allen. Sue Ellen Althaus. Mark Angus. Christina G. Arflack. Leanne Armstrong. Tamara Lynn Austin. Michael Anthony Ascona. Julius Badger Jr. Christopher J. Banks. 
Joshua James Barrington. Angela Ann Barrows. Keith Richard Beard. Jeremy Allen Beatty. Andrea Lynn Beeks. Liberty Cassandra Bell. Shauna Jean Beverly. Keith Boggs. Jared K. Bost. Kimberly Ann Bostic. Scott Eric Bowling. Nicole Faye Breidenbaugh. Malika Janae Brown. Monasia Donnell Brown. Brynell Michael Butler. James Everett Cade Jr. Catherine Ann Cheadle. Joshua Brian Childs. Nut Sarah Chahakan. Chan Hakit Paisan. Johanna Amanda Odessa Clater. Scott Allen Clater. James David Klipner. Kimberly Colburn. Melissa Ann Comer. Margaret Megan Conaway. Christopher Howard Cooper. Stephanie Jane Copple. Mary Ann Cottrell. Brian Cox. Christina Jo Cruz. Carrie Michelle Cutright. Matthew Paul Dalrymple. Amanda Ray Dameron. Elizabeth Christina Daughters. John Michael Davis. Leslie Brooke DeBoard. Katrina Sue Deckard. Ryan Lee Denowitz. Jared Benjamin Depew. Joshua David Detillion. Deanna Lynn Deddy. Charles Dixon II. Nicholas James Dumb. Michelle Lynn Duncan. John Lyndon Dunphy II. Joseph K.A. Evans. Michelle Lynn Faulkner. Matthew Michael Fleshman. 
Kalisa Ann Fortner. Nicole Fosnoff. Mark Christopher Wallach. Jason Michael Goujon. Misty Dawn Grant. Jennifer Lynn Graves. Jeremiah Green. Aaron R. Groves. Sarah Louise Guy. Helen Marie Geisinger. Anthony Martin Harrison II. Mark Anthony Hale. Benjamin J. Hatmaker. Ruth M. Hemenberger Curtis. Beulah Christie Hill. Heather Hill. Michael Kraft. Robin Denise Hinton. Dennis W. Howard. April Ann Hudek. Carla K. Hutchinson. Chad Eric Hutton. Christopher Jackson. Gravia Johnson. Melinda Michelle Johnson. Pamela Johnson. Robert Eugene Johnson. Alicia Corey Jones. Robbie Lynn Jordan. Jennifer Lynn Keel. Christy Lynn Keller. Stephanie L. Kellogg. Casey King Kinneman. Gregory Allen Leisure. Nathaniel Curtis Lewis. Deanna Rake Liddy. Amanda Lowell. Brandon Wayne Long. Emily Nicole Malone. William Robert Malone. Dustin K. Kyle Mannery. Jennifer Lynn Manson. Britton James Martin. Christopher Keith Martin. Courtney Renee Maxwell. Patrick McCurry. Oh, 
Marcus William McKillop. James Reporter. Nathan Douglas Merton. Joyce Ann Myers. John Franklin Meitinger, Jr. Nicholas Adam Netherton. Jeannie Newberry. Sean David Nichols. Anna Lynn Osborne. Zachary Lemuel Ott. Charles Brian Park. Ashley Marie Parker. Kelly Jean Parks. Michael E. Peck. Etina Jean Marie Pepin. Bruno Roberto Pereira. Anna Lucia. Pineda. Brandon Dean Praskich. Dina Price. Tina R. Price. Jared Ramsey. Matthew Paul Rayburn. Andrea Lynn Reister. Sarah K. Reynolds. James Mitchell Riggs. Justin Reinhardt. Melody Lynn Reinhardt. Catherine Marie Rogers. Jason S. Rose. Amber Deanne Roth. Jason Edward Sanders. Misty Nicole Skaggs. Charles Philip Jonathan Schofield. Aaron Michael Schrake. Jason L. Shoemaker. Benjamin Arthur Seifer. Which one are you? Adrian. Adrian Nicole Sims. Andrea Lynette Sims. Charity Yvonne Smith. Martin Kip Smith. 
Michelle Marie Southall. Stephen Robert Speck. Paula Elizabeth Spencer Collins. Jason J. Stamper. Amanda Lynn Stauffer. Erica Faith Stevens. Kendra Michelle Stern. Susan K. Stewart. Scott David Streitenberger. Daryl E. Sullivan. Alina K. Tanner. Ursula Sue Lynn Taylor. Amy Marie Thomas. Carmelita Irene Thornton. Cookie Ann Thornton. Tammy Michelle Tall. Brad Richard Urich. Bradley Dan Urich. Jeremy L. Van Dyne. Dustin Michael Wade. Gretchen Aaron Walburn. Tasia Lynn Walker. Bobby Thomas Washington. Jeremy Lee Webb. Maria Whitcomb. Douglas Witt. Roderick Willett. Andrea Lynn Willis. Lee A. Wilson. Heather Dawn Wolf. Chastity Lynn Wallenberg. Jacob Lee Woodfork. Joseph Michael Young. Sean M. Young. Please rise as the senior members of the Symphonic Choir lead us in the CHS alma mater.
<laughs> Graduated seniors, you may now participate in the traditional turning of the tassel signifying your graduate status. to present to you the 1997 graduates of Chillicothe High School. This concludes our service. Please drive safely. I remind you that the back exit of the parking lot is also open. You're welcome to join our alumni on the gym floor at this time. Congratulations.